So in this example, uh, I just finished climbing on a lead. So I have the rope attached to the top and the belayer will lower me down. Normally, you're relying all of your weight is on the top anchor. So if something happens to that, you're going to fall down to the next clip. So say I got lower and as I'm about to unclip this first swamp, the anchor gave out. So instead of falling down, I would go all the way down. Actually, in this example, I hit my belayer first. So had I undone this first draw before the anchor gave out, I would have definitely hit the ground or if you were in a wall position on past my belayer. So in order to prevent that from happening, you can use what's called a cruising knot. So all the way back up here, before the player starts to lower you down, you take a Prusik cord, you'll attach a carabiner to yourself, and we'll cover how to tie the Prusik player. And you attach the Prusik on the belayer side of the rope. And what this does is allows you to isolate yourself from all of the extra rope as you get lower. In fact, a few climbers have died because their top anchor gave out as they were getting lower and there was not enough rope for them to be saved. So, attach the Prusik, goes on the carabiner, and I just get lowered by holding on to the Prusik. And as I go down, I can get to the first anchor, I can unclip that and keep going. And say we're about here right now, and then the top anchor suddenly gives out. Instead of hitting the ground, or being on the layer, if I just let go of this Prusik, all of this rope gets negated. And even though I had already undone the first anchor, I wouldn't have gone past one. And if I had not been done with the I literally would have just let go and it would have stayed right next to my player. One more time, without the Prusik, 